Oh, hell yeah, brother. I just got my Tajin in. Yes, we're, we're excited about that, huh? Tajin is like this, this really awesome spicy seasoning with dehydrated lemon in it and, and lime in it. Dehydrated lime in it. Dude, this stuff is so good on watermelon. Hi, guys. Welcome to June 22nd. Third? Something like that, Third. boys and girls. Twenty third, really? Oh, yeah. Shit. Um, we are at the Toyota dealership because Kaylee got a new car. She got her dream car. I'm not gonna tell you what it is because she's vlogging as well, and she might want to tell you. When she got her new car, when she was up here buying it, I wasn't with her. I would have gotten angry. Uh, this. Well, I didn't find out until I was on my way. Oh home. yeah, that's true. Um, Kaylee's grandmother sent her a message and was like, "Oh, congrats on your new car." And Kaylee's like, "What the hell?" And so she starts heading home and looks at her Facebook. And the guy that was connecting her Bluetooth while she was waiting got into her phone, got on her Facebook, turned it to public, and then posted, I love this dealership. I love my new car, some crap like that. This is Toyota of North Charlotte. It's in Huntersville. That's not cool at all. <laughs> oh, and then she put 100 miles in the car, and right when it hit 100 miles, something started rattling like really bad. It sounded like the, uh, the rear axle was about to fall out of the car. And, uh, and this is I, a brand new car. Brand new car. It Only a, brand new car I've ever had. had oh yeah, you said 100 miles. Yeah, it had 100 yeah. miles on it. And um, I think it was the exhaust is loose and it was rattling really, really bad. It sounded terrible. So it's, I don't think it's as bad as as, uh, as, as it sounded. We're going to go uh, grab, grab a bite to eat since we're in Charlotte. There's this really cool place that I found on Google. And it's called Rooster's Wood Fired Grill. And the pictures look amazing. The reviews are good. So we're going to head over there and I'll, I'll show you guys what they've got. Oh, also tonight at 6.30, we are meeting with our second sponsored skater's parents <laughs> and him because he's, thir I think he's 13. Cool kid, local kid. If uh, if his parents agree to let us 5.0 Skate Shop sponsor him, then you'll probably see him in vlogs. Hey, baby. Hi. Guess what? what? Look at all those chickens. <laughs> Dude, this menu looks bomb as hell. I think I'm gonna go with the rotisserie pork cubano, which comes with uh, mojo aioli pickles and gruyere cheese. The aesthetic in here is super cool too. Check it out, the kitchen is in the middle and you can sit around and watch them cook over there. Dude, this looks incredible. Look at that cubano, man. It's rotisserie pork. And then I got a chicken pizza with it. And Kaylee got the, what'd you get? Smoked turkey BLT. Smoked turkey BLT. That thing looks amazing. It has avocado. This old fashioned is probably the best old fashioned I've ever had. And they they like knocked it out of the water. They said they put cloves in their old fashions here and it's super good. Homeless man tries expensive Cubano. Here we go. <laughs> Holy shit. It looks really good. Dude, that rotisserie pork. Mmm. That's definitely one of the best. Cuban Cubanos I've ever had in my life. Holy shit, man. You gotta try this. You weren't gonna eat the whole piece? No. But that's really good pizza, isn't it? These are really, really good. Yeah, I dude. just wanted a bite. I don't know what cheese they put on oh there, but it's super fresh and tasty. And the seasoning is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Dude, this place is so good. What did they put? <laughs> they put crack in their pizza. Oh no, they put crack in their pizza. Oh no. <laughs> Kaylee and I were just talking about how we both love the way it smells in here, and it kind of smells like a wood-burning stove, like it's homey a little bit. The food's good, the service is good. I think a lot of the smell comes from the kitchen being right in the middle of the restaurant. Just best pizza, honestly. You know I don't say this very much about food. Best pizza I've ever had in my entire life. Rooster's Wood-Fired Kitchen in the South Park area, like South Charlotte, North Carolina. Amazing! Freaking amazing! Jones is the bravest cat I know. What up, Jones? He was like, I don't care. There's a giant dog eating right here. I'm gonna get right near him. But everyone knows that butcher is just a big love. Just a big love. Hi. You already ate your food. You don't chew it. You just swallow it, so you don't get more. All right. Second thoughts of the meat slicer. While it is amazing, and it made really, really, really good Philly cheese steak. <sighs> Is it worth it? Because look at this. Would you look at it? I had to take the blade off and I had to take the, um, the little thing, knob thingy off and wash those. Two of the parts for it are dishwasher safe, so those are clean in there. But you know, I can't exactly put this electronic device in the dishwasher. And so I'm gonna have to clean this and then I'm gonna have to get like a toothbrush and get down in there and clean that. So that's why I'm saying, is it even worth it? You know, it would have taken me a long time to freeze the steaks and then cut them paper thin with a knife. 
but in that time you know that that takes you know i'm gonna be sitting here cleaning all this crap out with a toothbrush so i don't even know if it's worth it guys and i kind of hate that i spent money on this brought kaylee back up here to the toyota dealership so she could pick up her forerunner and in the meantime i kind of wanted to look around and see what uh see what the new supras look like oh well it's gated i can't get in there and look I want to look at them because I've always been in love with Supras ever since Fast and Furious, the original one, came out and they built the uh, they built the orange Supra. Excuse me, I'm turning around. I need to park and walk around. They force you to get out of your car and walk around if you want to look at the cars. Shady-ass business practice right there. My buddy Will, or Willers on uh, Twitch, one of the best, possibly one of the best Tarkov players in the world, just got a Supra and uh, it looks super cool and I just wanna go check them out. But first I gotta park and walk around. Just talked to Alex up here at the Toyota dealership. They don't got any, man. He said it'll probably be a couple months before they get them in because the plant was shut down due to COVID. Thinking about it, I wouldn't buy one from Toyota uh, of North Charlotte anyways, you know, seeing as how they got into Kaylee's phone, made her profile public on Facebook and posted something about how much she loves the dealership. That was wrong, Toyota of North Charlotte, very wrong. This place is quite the hike from home, so we're gonna find something to eat around here and get back in time for John to get off of the bus from camp and then we're gonna go to this Asian mall and buy the ingredients to make Jet Tila's Pad Thai. Cool fact, Jet Tila, who's on the Food Channel show, we've been talking back and forth, his family only first Thai restaurant in the United States. So we're gonna make that on stream tonight. Kaylee wants tacos, so I gotta find a taco please. I told Kaylee, I told her, she said get me Gucci tacos and I found her Gucci tacos. I'd certainly, most certainly yeah, did. I demanded it. I, I just said, want you to know that there's a taco right here called Long Duck Dong. Their taco names are hilarious. Oh, it's like from 16 Candles. Yeah. You're going the wrong way. Stage five clinger, but it's Shark Week. <laughs> that guy in the little <laughs> coat, Long Duck Dong, why so serious? Oh, these are all from movies. Yeah, am I being punked? Gay I have what she's Fokker. having. Gaylord Fokker. Vegas baby Vegas, this is super cool. This is Roo Roo's Tacos and Tequila in South Charlotte. Kind of south, south of the city, south of Uptown. It's not quite South Charlotte, I don't think. It's Charlotte and it's South, some, whatever. It looks like it's got good food. We'll see how good the food is. The margarita names are amazing. Friend Zone, Magic Mike, You Talking to Me, Frank the Tank, Mortimer Duke, Prison Love, and Pineapple Express. <laughs> Look at the little cocktails. Say hello to my little friend, Donkey Punch, Divorce Party, Home Wrecker. All right, we are starting off with the Let It Rain. It's their Smoky House Salsa, and it looks really, really good. Mmm. Mmm. Holy crap, this looks good. We got the Korean bulgogi, ahi tuna, and some scrimp. Damn, dude. Really, What'd you get? Really hot plate. You got the ahi too, didn't you? Mm hmm. And then mahi and chicken. The ahi tuna, it's seared perfectly. And they have some like very light pickles on here, like not pickled very much cucumbers. Just light, so you get a little cucumber taste with it. They got like this crema or whatever the f they called it in the menu. This wasabi crema. Wasabi, it's wasabi crema. Dude, this is one of the best tacos I've ever had. Super good. And then the bulgogi was amazing. I'm about to dig into this shrimp too. Don't worry, I'm not gonna leave it uneaten, guys. How's y'all's? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Bros, we are getting some hate on the skate shop page right now. This guy, uh, useless wooden knowledge, who knows nothing about me or who I am, put a picture of me up here and then you see the Baker skateboards behind me right there? He says, Baker skateboards, uh, friends, it's a real shame you guys allow supporters of war criminal who also enjoy threatening peaceful protesters to sell your products. Five O Skate Shop is a bad look. It would be great if you'd reconsider. Hashtag Black Lives Matter, hashtag defund the police. And then there's all these, there's about a hundred comments on here now, and the majority of them are people just pooping on my skate shop. I posted it on my story, so people are jumping in here and supporting us, but dude, what a miserable little turd. Eli Double Tap got me into Berserk because he has a whole Berserk sleeve, and I watched all of the three movies that are on Netflix that are really good. Very adult-oriented content, if you want to watch them. And also watched both seasons of the newer show, which the last season was kind of garbage, but I had to order the book so I can actually read them. I don't really really read manga. You know, you gotta read it backwards, so that's gonna be kind of weird. I just wanna see all the stuff they left out because it's such a cool story. Bunker Branding sent me something, and I think it's a sample of something I wanted. I just don't remember what it is. So let's see what it is. Oh, guess what, guys? I'm coming out with Hawaiian shirts. These aren't it. They just wanted to send me samples of how they feel because I don't like 100% polyester. It makes you sweat your things off. So I'm gonna try this 100% cotton and try the 90% polyester, 10% spandex and see which one I like. I think I'm already gonna go with cotton, but I need to try them all to see. They sent me something else too. 
What is this? Oh my gosh, is that a donut operator apron for cooking at home? It is, it absolutely is. Oh, hi guys, we made it to the Asian Mall. It's about 30 minutes away from the house and I've actually been to this area before. It is a super, super incredibly sketchy area. I ate pho at a place over here and I'm really surprised I didn't get food poisoning. Here's where we are, the sketchiest part of Charlotte, I think. <laughs> New Century Oriental Food Supermarket. So we're gonna go in there and look around and buy some stuff. Neat. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen mayonnaise in a, uh, in a package. Koopy mayonnaise. I got some of this pickled radish and some of the dried shrimp. We're gonna try to find the tamarind extract and baked tofu marinated in soy sauce. Dude, this is the biggest super Asian supermarket I've ever been to. It's huge. Flavored tea egg spice. I don't know. Oh man. Oh, dude, you know what looks really appetizing right now? Mudfish sauce. <laughs> Pickled gourami fish. There's not a scene. Perhaps some whole gourami fish in brine. Oh, yes. Crab paste. Spicy crab paste. Shrimp paste. They have spicy spicy crab, crab paste. Found it. Thai fruit concentrate. Concentrado de tamarindo. I think that's tamarind concentrate, if, if my translation is correct. I've never seen so many nudes in all my life. Look at all of them. Would you look at them? Oh, look at all these nudes. But look at all the ramen. This stuff right here, this shin ramen, is amazing. Why don't we get some? Dang, man, look at all of it. Because I think we're almost out of it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh no, guys, I think I've made a huge mistake. A pickled macaque. <laughs> hey, man, I've got some prawn crackers. Or meat, meat floss. Ooh, passion fruit flavor jelly. We're on the candy aisle now. It's pretty cool here. Yeah, I just Sriracha like peas. Teriyaki style crispy fried headless anchovy. Hmm, in the candy aisle. <laughs> crispy shrimp. Sriracha sticks. I'm gonna get some of these. What you got, John? You got some shin ramen? Shin ramen bowls? And some cheese balls. Don't put your mouth on it. <laughs> Dude, to be honest, there's no telling how long some of this stuff's been in here. I'm not too sure what a pizzle is. I'm not sure if I want to know. It's guts. Oh, found the chitlins. You guys hungry yet? Aww. Ooh, they got that duck feet here too. They got an unnamed bag of parts here too. Huh. <laughs> oh, we got some. Oat zan dough mix hot pepper with mold on them. Cool, cool. Kaylee, I know your back's been hurting. Good thing they have some woman back tea here for you. John got cheese balls. They're really good. Yeah. Though. Cheese ball. Did you cheese see ball, not Did cheese ball. That? Cheese ball. No, they say they say cheese ball on them. Cheese ball. All right, John got a cheese ball. Oh <laughs> uh, man, that was sketch, dude. You have to go through like a really, really sketch part of town to get over here, and then it's in the middle of Sketchville. <laughs> So we're gonna go to the other place next time. Kaylee thought that that one was still probably has the, had the indoor mall, but it's completely shut down. They used to have a really cool looking indoor mall. She was showing it to me. We're gonna grab some, uh, run by Publix and grab some things, and then I'm gonna jump on the cooking stream here in a bit. Cook Jet Tealess Pad Thai. We're actually listening to him right now. Jet, I love you. Totally not a sketch place whatsoever. What do you think of coconut roll? Yeah, it was really good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Nice. Just kind of like cereal. 